100 million years in the future, our space probe leaves the watery world where Paris once stood and sets its sights on the port city of Calcutta, India. In the 21st century, Calcutta is a megalopolis teeming with 13 million people. But experts predict that in 100 million years, a chunk of Africa will break off and seal the Bay of Bengal, turning Calcutta into this. The vast, brackish Bengal Swamp. Plants choke the water and spread deep canopies. The greenhouse planet generates average temperatures of 100 degrees. Humidity hovers at 99%. The swamp covers hundreds of thousands of square miles, over 100 times the size of the Florida Everglades in the 21st century. From this sticky hothouse emerge some of the strangest creatures the world has ever seen. Underwater, lying in wait, is the lurk fish, capable of striking with 1,000 volts of electricity. The ground above shakes with the pounding of toratons, the largest animals ever to walk the earth. And trying to avoid getting in the way of either the lurk fish or toraton is this Swampus family. A Swampus weighs about 40 pounds. It can survive out of water for up to four days by storing oxygen in its body. It's a descendant of the 21st century marine octopus. During breeding season, the Swampus protect their young in nurseries made of lily plants. Water collects in their leaves, which act as liquid cradles. In these nurseries, the baby swampus are safe from danger lurking in the open water. But today, there are threats on land as well. Big ones. These are the mighty toratons, hypersized relatives of the tortoise they dwarf every creature that existed before. In the 21st century, the largest land animal was the African elephant, weighing roughly 12,000 pounds. In the age of the dinosaurs, some tipped the scales at 180,000 pounds. The toraton weighs a ground-shaking, 240,000 pounds. A toraton must eat 1,300 pounds of food a day. Its gut bigger than an SUV. A mother swampus watches the toraton warily. She's not worried about being eaten. The toratons are vegetarians. But the giant beasts are very clumsy. One misstep could spell the end of the Swampus family. This toraton is headed straight for the nursery. It's just a baby, but a baby that weighs 20 tons. The mother Swampus is ready to defend her family. Toraton doesn't know what hit him. Like the octopus of the 21st century, the swampus has a poisonous bite. The venom works its way through the lumbering giant. Its legs buckle.
and the Toraton hits the ground with the force of a train wreck. The sound reverberates for miles. As soon as the Swampus gets rid of the Toraton, a new threat emerges from the water. It's a rival Swampus. She wants the prized nursery plant for herself. The mother Swampus gathers other mothers nesting nearby. They tell the intruder to go away with a bizarre display of force. The unwelcome Swampus backs off and retreats into the swamp. The Swampus family has once again fought off disaster. Now, the mother Swampus is about to face the most terrifying threat of all. She leaves the relative safety of her nest and descends into the murky water. She has no choice. Every four days, the Swampus' oxygen reserves run low, and she must enter the water to replenish her supply. and lying in wait is the deadliest animal in the swamp. The lurkfish. The lurkfish is 13 feet long. Its killing method, ambush. Its weapon, electricity. In the 21st century, Electric eels have small muscle blocks that generate electricity, like a series of batteries. They stun their prey with 600 volts. 100 million years of evolution later, the lurkfish is far bigger and far more lethal. Its hundreds of electrical muscle blocks can deliver a terrific shock, over 1,000 volts strong. The lurkfish mimics one of the many tree trunks that litter the swamp. Being cold-blooded, it only needs to eat once a week. But today could be feeding day. The lurkfish holds back, waiting for the swampers to enter striking distance. Then, suddenly, it propels its massive body forward. 1,000 volts strike the mother Swampus. She's paralyzed, but not dead. She watches as the lurkfish swallows her alive. Back in the nursery, the Swampus babies no longer have a mother to protect them. A herd of Toratons is nearby. It's mating season. As the lumbering giants pair up, they shake the swampland for miles. Intent on their courtship, the Toratons topple everything that stands in the way. Luckily, the young Swampus are just old enough to fend for themselves, but they have only moments to escape the chaos. One kick from 120 tons of monster tortoise, and it's all over.
the babies barely make it out in time. One hundred million years in the future, the swamps are ruled by giants, and there's nowhere to hide. 